Hello students, today we will study unit number 3, Transformers. So in this video, we are going to understand one topic which is construction and working of transformer. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay, so now we are going to talk about single phase transformer. So before that, we will understand the meaning of transformer. So transformer means what? That it is such a device which will transform voltage and current or it will change voltage and current or it will increase or decrease voltage and current. As for example, supposing if you have low voltage and if you want to increase its voltage to a high voltage. So at that time, what you will do? You will use one transformer and that transformer is known as step up transformer. Similarly, if you have a high voltage and that high voltage, if you want to decrease to a low voltage, then what you will do? You will use one transformer and that transformer is known as step down transformer. So step up transformer will do what? It will increase the voltage or potential or EMF. Step down transformer will do what? It will decrease the voltage or potential or EMF. Now step up transformers are located near to the power station where voltage is increased and step down transformers are located in our society near to our house where voltage is decreased and that much low voltage is supplied to our house. So basically two types of the transformers are there, step up and step two. Okay. So that is the basic idea of the transformer. Now we will talk about the construction of the transformer. That in transformer which parts are there, what are the functions of it. So here I will write construction of transformer. Okay. So for that purpose we will draw the figure that it has one core. So that is known as core this type of thing that is core. So over here I will write core and that core is made with the help of a soft iron. Now that soft iron is a ferromagnetic material. Now what is the advantage or you can say property of ferromagnetic material that later we will discuss. Okay. After that, we will take one insulated copper wire and that insulated copper wire we will wound on one of the side of the core, how like this. Now that winding is known as primary coil and that primary coil is connected with one AC supply source like this. That means over here voltage input is there. So supposing in primary coil voltage input is EP or you can say EMF is EP. Okay. Now number of the turns in that primary coil is suppose NP and current which is flowing through this primary coil is suppose IP. Okay. Now we will take another insulated copper wire and that insulated copper wire we will bound on the another side of the core like this. And that binding is known as secondary coil and that secondary coil will provide us the voltage output. Supposing that secondary coil is providing us the voltage output as ES or potential or EMF as ES. Now number of the terms in that secondary coil is suppose an S. And current flowing through that secondary coil is suppose I S. Okay. So now from the figure you can see that number of the turns in primary as well as in secondary coils both are different. So all the game is based on number of the turns. How? That we will understand why with the help of a working principle. Okay. So now we'll discuss about working principle. So all the transformers are based on one working principle which is known as mutual induction. Now mutual induction means what? That when we will place two coils near to each other 
and if from the one coil you will supply the variable current or changing current at that time in the another coil say in secondary coil emf is induced according to faraday's second law so emf is induced which is equals to minus d phi by dt where phi is known as flux and d phi by dt is known as rate of change in flux over here that much emf is produced only because of one turn of the coil and total how many turns are there suppose n turns are there so induced emf total is equal to what minus multiply with n of d phi by dt now over here we have considered the coil coil means what inductor and inductor will do what it will oppose any change produced inside of it so that is why we are writing negative sign which indicates that any change is opposed okay now we understand that how emf is induced in secondary coil with the help of primary coil okay so for that purpose we know one thing what that if you take one wire and from that wire conducting wire if you flow the current so what's happen around the conductor magnetic field lines will be created that you know very well okay. similarly in the primary coil also current is flowing some ip current is flowing that means around this primary coil also magnetic field is there or magnetic field lines are there like this magnetic field lines are there like that direction may be like this okay now over here we have used ferromagnetic material of core and ferromagnetic material will do what that it will pass all the magnetic field lines from it like this so over here magnetic field lines are produced all magnetic field lines will pass from this core that is the direction of magnetic field line suppose another magnetic field line i will draw so like this that means advantage of ferromagnetic material is what that it will never allow any magnetic field lines to escape through it it will take all the magnetic field lines okay now if we talk about the flux through a single turn of primary coil single turn i will consider that is the single turn so single flux through that single turn of primary coil if i want to write so phi p how much supposing two magnetic field lines are passing so flux is 2 okay now if you talk about the flux through single turn of secondary coil suppose phi s so it will also be two why because two lines are passing from primary coil same two magnetic field lines are passing from secondary coil so phi p is equals to phi s we can write which is equals to phi we can write okay also over here whatever current we are supplying to that primary coil that is what alternating current and you know very well that alternating current is changing its direction and magnitude that means alternating current is a variable current or changing current and due to that variable current whatever magnetic field lines are produced that magnetic field lines will also vary also change that means whatever flux is there linked with that secondary coil that will also change so due to this change in magnetic field which is linked with the secondary coil or you can say due to the change in magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil what happen according to the faraday second law emf is induced so in this way from primary coil in the secondary coil emf is induced that process is known as mutual induction process okay now we will try to write the equation of uh, emf or you can say potential in the primary coil so we will write potential in the primary coil will be what ep is equals to what that equation will take the reference minus n number of turns in secondary coil uh, okay so primary coil so that is secondary coil. primary coil number of turns in primary coil is how much np d5 flux through single turn of primary coil is how much 5p so i will write 5p divided by dt same equation i will write ep is equals to minus np d5 p i will not write because d5 p is what 5 so d5 by dt suppose equation number 1 similarly we will write what emf through secondary coil so es is equals to what we can write minus ns number of returns are ns then d phi s that is phi s for secondary coil divided by dt that is original equation so es 
secondary coil potential or emf is and s d phi s i will not write by phi s is equals to 5 divided by dt so supposing that is equation number 2 okay now if you will divide equation 2 with 1 so what you can write so over here i will write over here 2 by 1 or 1 by 2 anything you can do es by ep so es by ep if you will write so what happens that d5 by dt d5 by dt will get cancelled out so and minus minus plus so ns by np okay so that is the most important equation in this theory that equation says what that whatever emf or potential is there that is directly proportional to number of turns whatever emf or potential is there that is directly proportional to number of turns so i will write like this that emf is directly proportional to what directly proportional to number of turn that means if you will increase the number of turns then emf will increase if you will decrease number of turns then emf will also be decreased now that same thing we will understand with the help of step up and step transformer so that more picture will be clear to you okay so as for example if i will talk about step up transformer so for step up transformer first of all i will draw that is primary side then i will draw secondary side okay now step up transformer is used for what purpose to increase the voltage or potential and in secondary side potential is es which is more because step up means increase the potential and in the primary coil potential is ep okay now if on secondary side potential is more that means potential is directly proportional to number of turns so number of turns is also more in secondary coil compared to number of turns in primary coil so you should remember one thing that in the case of step up transformer always number of turns in secondary coil is higher than the number of turn in primary coil similarly if i will talk about step down transformer so for the case of step down transformer first of all i will draw its primary coil then i will draw its uh, secondary coil okay step down transformer is used for what purpose to decrease the voltage that means over here low voltage over here high voltage that means in secondary side voltage is low so voltage is low in the primary side voltage is high so it is greater now if in primary side voltage is high that means voltage is directly proportional to the number of the turn so over here number of turn in primary coil must be greater than number of turn in secondary coil so for the case of step down transformer which thing you should remember you should remember that that in step down transformer number of the turn in secondary coil is always lower than the number of turns in the primary coil okay so that is all about the story of the potential now we will talk about that uh, what happened with the current current will increase or decrease or what so important equations First, we have derived ES by EP directly proportional to number of the turns NS by NP. Okay, so equation 1. Now, we'll talk about the current. Okay. Now, we know that transformer means what? That it will transfer the energy from primary to secondary in terms of power. That means on primary coil, whatever power is there, same power we will get on the secondary coil. That means power of primary coil is suppose PP and power of secondary coil is suppose PS. So suppose 5 kilowatt power you are giving to primary, same 5 kilowatt will be transferred to secondary. If you will not consider any losses, that means that is the ideal condition. Power, whatever power you are supplying, same power you are transmitting on secondary. That is the ideal transformer for that. I will prepare one video. Okay. So if losses are not that, power on primary and secondary both are same. Then what we can say power is what? V into I. So that is V potential into I. That is uh, V potential into I. On primary side, potential is how much? EP. Uh, current is how much? IP. Uh, on secondary side, potential is ES. Then uh, current is IS. So from this can we write? Uh, EP by ES is equals to IS by IP that is another important equation number 2 from this equation which type of conclusion we can make that whatever EMF is there or potential is there that is inversely proportional to current 
potential is inversely proportional to current again whatever potential is there that is inversely proportional to current that means if you will increase the potential in front of that current will be decreased as for example in the case of step up transformer what you are doing you are increasing the potential on secondary side but if you will increase the potential on secondary side so in front of that current on secondary side will be decreased Similarly, if you will decrease the potential, so current will be increased. How? That in the case of step down transformer, what we have done on the secondary side, less low. That means potential is less. That means if you will decrease the potential, current on secondary side will be increased. So from equation 1 and 2, we can write one important equation, which is which one? That uh, ES by EP. Okay, potential is directly proportional to number of turns, so NS by NP, but potential is inversely proportional to current, so it will be your IP by IS. So that is the most important equation from which we can calculate the numerical. So this is all about the story of construction and working of single phase transformer.